So I wanted to start a new series uh, for the channel. So I was thinking about something that I actually uh, enjoy doing, which is emulators and setting up emulators. I like to try to help my friends set up emulators, even though most of them don't do it. Um, sorry. So SNES 9X is pretty much the best SNES emulator for anything, even Android, I would say. Uh, really good on PC because there's a lot of customization options and I think it's definitely it's one of the easiest emulators to run you can run it on anything even like a potato you, you could run it on a toaster if you if you put a monitor on it like I'm not lying but um, the website is really old because if you look at this is a uh, original was 1999 which is quite a bit ago, but it's uh, it's functional and it's still pretty easy to navigate, so to download it, I uh, check the download page, which is right here. I'll put a link in the description for the website if you're interested in downloading it. Uh, for ROMs or, uh, I think it uses .snes files or something along that line, I can't remember, uh, but you can also, you can rip your uh, SNES uh, cartridges uh, to do it legally, uh, you know. But the downloads page, um, I would, I don't know which one to go for here, but uh, anything that has Google, like if you could get it through Google Drive, would probably be the safest way. This is not the best download mirror site I've seen ever. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's actually pretty awful. Like a lot of modern emulators are, have way better. Um, there's forums if you have any questions. Uh, it's really, it's really easy to set up. You shouldn't have any issues. But uh, if you do, here's the forum. So once you get in, it's literally as simple as, you know, go to load game. It should bring you to your thing. It's .sfc files. I created a folder in my emulators. Uh, folder called SNES games where I keep my games stored for easy you know access also once you play them it's in you have them in your recent games tab which I really like and it, you know that's not always a feature in emulators also save game positions so you got save slots load slots which you can also if you have a controller which I, I don't know why you'd play an emulator without a controller but you can or you can do it on a keyboard too you can set um, set a key for these so you can uh, uh, save and load as as you please. Think like Skyrim if you uh, quick save and you can quick load. Really useful. Uh, you can save screenshots which you know you can just press print screen if you're on a PC but hey do whatever you want. Um, ROM information, not sure how that works, I never use that. These never used. Uh, you can record on it which is very nice. Uh, you can pause, pause when inactive which like I, I don't know when that Accounts, I guess. Uh, there's settings for emulation. Again, not like I don't even think you have to mess with these to set it up. To be honest, that might be good if you're planning on recording. Uh, if you go to sounds, I would not mess with the sounds. But I mean, if you want to turn up the kilohertz, go ahead. Buffer length. Uh, don't mess with any of these. I don't mess with any of the settings uh, for sound, but video on the other hand. Pretty nice. Uh, full screen's Alt Enter, which is pretty much the default for any any full screen, like on anything on the PC. Uh, if you go to Display Configuration, you have all these settings. These are uh, it really makes your SNES games look actually way more decent than you would think they would look, considering you know how old the system is. Uh, again, if somehow you can't run it, just turn some of the settings down. Uh, you don't have to run it as beefy as I am. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, if you want, like, the generic experience, you can set it as low as it goes, which I'm pretty sure is just, like, legit. Like, if you're playing on a real SNES. So I'm going to boot up um, one of the games and show you some stuff. We'll do Earthbound. Okay, so instead of going, you can go to video in full screen, or you can press Alt Enter on your keyboard. You know, full screen. Also, my video wants to get in on this action as well. A 
have no idea how loud this is. <laughs> That's a really cool background. Okay, got your boy Ness. Okay, so, you know, the game. It, it's literally just SNES. So, you, for me, I have an Xbox controller. You could set, well, you can set the keys, or the key bindings to whatever you want, which I guess I can show. Uh, here's what I have, though. I have, um, my right trigger set up to, uh, speed. So if you're playing a game that has grinding, like this game, for example, it's an RPG, so if you want to grind really fast, you, you can do this, and it unlocks your thing like that. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, trying to think. Okay, I don't have save slots on my controller because I don't really use them. I like to play my games. Cheat. No cheating. Speaking of cheating, you can cheat. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how you exit out of the game. It looks like you can't, but that's fine. Because it pauses when it's inactive. Which I guess is that. So for input, you go to input configuration. And you can set up your controller really easily. I know for a fact you can use... Uh, DS3, which is DualShock 3, which is a PS3 controller. You can also use Xbox controllers, and you can use um, X input, which is a little different from Xbox, but it's basically the same thing. Like if you have a uh, controller that you bought for a PC, like uh, not name brand or anything, you can use that. Uh, I use an Xbox controller because it works really well with everything. Uh, but yeah, that's really cool. You can also go here, and this is where you set up the hotkeys. Uh, a lot of stuff on this one. I really like the simulator because it has so much you can do with it. Uh, window size, unless you're playing in, uh, unless you're playing in, um, what's it? Non full screen, uh, then it's pretty much useless. For cheats, um, you can get cheats with the game genie thing. I believe you have to get the uh, codes from a website, which probably isn't very hard, but I don't really cheat. Oh, there's also Netplay, which I didn't know what there was. Uh, I'm not sure how it works either, but, but apparently it's here, so... Uh, I don't know. I guess if you have a friend who wants to play a game with you, go ahead. Uh, reset game just resets, I believe. Yep. So yeah, I think this is one of the easiest and, you know, it's the easiest one to set up because you don't do anything, which I enjoy in my emulators. But uh, if I continue this series, it'll probably be... I have a lot of emulators like Citra and uh, PCSX2 or PCS3 and Simu. All those are new. Well, newer. PCSX2 is very old. But they're newer and they're a lot more advanced to set up. So I, I don't know. I think those will be... I, I really enjoy this, and I know a lot about it, and that's why I decided to do a series. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, and if you need any help, I could probably help you in the settings.